Hello and welcome back to Silent Hill. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm not going to stop recording tonight. Well, I'm going to stop eventually, but I feel like I need to get up on a better uh, stopping point. So we're going to actually solve the next two puzzles. I think that's probably going to be a good stopping point. So we've got the 12 o'clock puzzle, in, but I also just want to reread the 5 o'clock puzzle uh, just so I don't forget. I don't have to come back here. So darkness that brings the choking heat. Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open times, open times door, to beckon prey. Times door. So the lat. So five o'clock should open up the clock tower, and we need something with choking heat. I'll have to keep that in mind. Twelve o'clock puzzle is first though. So I think the music room is on the second floor. Um. Should be, but I didn't mean to go that way. I meant to go through the courtyard. That would have been a smarter idea, wouldn't it, have, guys? Probably. Again, with the whole absolutely terrible piss poor direction thing. Let's go this way here. And we should be able to go up the second floor, I'm pretty sure. Uh. uh Draw on a brain fart. Yes, if we go this way, should we go through this door? We should get to this. It's locked. Okay, wrong way. Wrong door. Why am I forgetting where all the directions are? Even if, even if I just picked up this game like a few minutes ago. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's the stairs. I'm either tired or just directionally challenged. Probably a little bit of combination of both. And yes, there we go. The music room and locker room are all the way uh, down here. So I guess I could have gone in the locker room because I don't actually recall there being anything really, really useful there. But I kind of wanted to go to both rooms at the same time. Might as well just save them for later. And we're in the right hallway, right? If we're not, I'm going to shoot myself. Yeah, okay. And first stop is the music room, I think. Yes? Yes, and this puzzle's ready to be solved. If you come in here earlier, um, there, there won't be blood on the keys. So this is probably the hardest of the three puzzles because it has a little bit to do with memory. So a tale of birds without a voice. First flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flailing. Uh, then came a silent dove, flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. Okay, so a pelican and a dove are both white birds. Pelican uh, flying and a dove flies higher than the pelican. A raven flies, a black bird, uh, higher, flying higher than the dove, just to show that he can. A swan, a white bird, glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Uh, finally, out comes a crow, coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. Who will show the way? Who will be the key? Who will lead to the silver reward? Okay, I probably should have written that down, but let's see if I can let's just see if I can figure this out on my own. Uh, there's some blood on some of the keys. Does this mean anything? Yeah, let, let's check the piano. It looks like we can only play on very specific keys, and it has to do with the white and black birds. So the first was the pelican, and the uh, ones without notes are the right one, so that looks like it's the right key. So there's the pelican. Um, the dove flies further than the pelican as far as it could. So maybe this key? No. Okay. So that key again. This key? Okay. Uh, was it a crow or a raven that flies a little bit higher than the dove? No. Okay. Alright, so there there this one maybe no okay this one this one that one okay and now I'm I forgot the rest of the puzzle which kinda sucks now I feel dumb because I tried to figure out the first three keys so we've got that one that one and that one uh, blackbird again no okay Sorry guys, I gotta check the puzzle again. I should have, like I said, I should have written it down, but for the most part, I'm gonna be able to remember the first three keys. Uh, fourth one is a swan. 
glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Okay, so probably going to put that one next to the pelican. And then a crow coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. Okay. Alright, so we, we got three out of five keys figured out on our first try. That wasn't too bad. Yes, yes. Mean anything, check the piano, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, pelican. Whatever bird that was, I forget. Uh, raven. There. And maybe this one? Nope. Okay. Well, it's gotta take next to another bird, so maybe this one? Yep. And the last one, maybe over here? Ah, damn it! <laughs> Trial and error, guys. Trial and error. And glides peacefully. And maybe the last key. Yes, there we go. Haha. -ha. Well, that was painful for you to watch, I'm sure. I forgot that the last clue was gliding to the very end to find his his refuge. I should have probably remembered that clue a little bit better, because it would have made more sense than it would have been the last key. The last black key. So, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Anyways. Uh, now I think we can return the silver medallion back to the... Um back to the clock tower but there is still the locker room to investigate which i have neglected so let's go do that first should be here okay oh god oh, oh i don't want to open this nothing useful in this locker what do you mean there's something moving oh there oh cat just a cat. That's random. And I guess a little less scary than what it could have been in the locker. Aw, oh, poor kitty gets eaten or something, I assume. Maybe by those demonic children. And there's nothing inside. Well, okay, there's nothing interesting, I guess, or uh, vital towards storyline. Hey, did. Where did you come from? You weren't here last time I was here. Okay, so when you go back to the courtyard. So let's go this way instead, which should be a little bit shorter. We can get to another staircase. If this door's open. Yeah, it is open, good. I was gonna say this door better be open. Again with the breathing hallway. I, to me it sounds like breathing. I don't know what it is, but it just it really sounds like breathing and it's really kind of creeping me out. Let's go back down. And I think we're on the right track here. No! Oh, this is a new area. I haven't been to this area. Uh, the boiler room and the storage. Uh, we need to go to the boiler room later on. But the storage room is jammed. Uh, boiler room should be open, though. It is open. We'll come back here later. I completely forgot about the boiler room, which probably wasn't smart because we're going to need to go there later, like I said. Okay, well, at least I know where that is now. It's on the first floor. Okay. Alright. Let's go. And I'm going to ignore whatever enemies are in here to spare some time. And again, I think I just went into the wrong door. That trips me up. Like, every time I just go to the nearest door, and apparently it doesn't serve me any good. Stupid children. Okay. Ah, uh, clock tower right here. And we got a silver medallion, so a silver moon. A golden sun and a silver moon. Ah, opposing forces. Okay, so let's put our uh, medallion in. And now we should be able to uh, to solve the next puzzle. I think it turns the time, was it five o'clock? Five. And why did the music change? Oh, I don't like changes in music. It means probably means something bad is gonna happen. Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that at all. Oh, and more children. I forgot about you. Oh, no! I was... This is what happens when I avoid enemies. Die. And ignore that ghost that's beside me. I'm just gonna say screw it. Go right past it. You're not worth my bullets, ma'am slash sir. Sorry, my, uh... Ah! I was publishing a video and it came up on top of the screen and it distracted me and those children started to attack me. That was that was good and dandy. I need to go this way. 
and we need to go... Wait, now I'm really confused. What the hell am I doing, you guys? Holy shit. I should have, I really should have stopped recording. We need to go back to that boiler room. You would think because it was so close to where I just was, I would figure out where it was, but no. And hence why I said this, this playthrough might be a little painful with my terrible ass sense of direction. I'm gonna take it out, take it out on that, that child. I'm just that angry. And it should be right here, right? Yeah. See, Nikki, was that so hard? Was it really so hard to go the right direction and find the boiler room, which I think is over here, right? Yeah, no. No, it's not. What the hell? No, it's right here. Okay. Yes, this is the boiler room. And we had to wait for this light to come on. So if we turn this light, or this switch, turns a light on. Ooh, scary. Uh, I don't like whatever noise that was. It sounded like a growl. I think it said rele release, releasing, <laughs> releasing the beast or easy prey or something like that. Uh, again, I don't, I don't really like the sound of that. It kind of creeps me out. And now we can go back to the courtyard and go back to the clock tower. And this painful video is very, very much done now. Sorry about that, guys. And I will now stop recording because I realize I probably should have went with my gut and stopped recording last video. But here we are. This is the clock tower. We've done all three of those puzzles, figured it out. And now we're going to see what's going to happen when we go uh, through the clock tower. So join me then, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.